Hey, what up? What the fuck? Fuck, fuck. Hope everybody's day is chill as fuck. Hope somebody built something for somebody, like a little kid or something. I, hey, I said this a long time ago on a video. Like, my work would have me do some crazy, like, some uh, questionable areas and stuff like that. But what I would do while I was not at work and all that, I'd prepare for being in those areas. And kind of, there's a video I seen yesterday that that shit had, you want to talk about shook. I was like, damn. Anyways, I seen this video and it kind of reminded me of some shit. <clears throat> Said it on a video like years ago or a year ago or I don't know how long ago it was, but it was over a year ago, I want to say. But uh, about when you prepare for certain things, like this is just an example of how shit could be changed. You know what I mean? Um, experienced it yesterday again, too. Yesterday, tiny, a little bit, like, on how somebody tripped out because I was the one that stopped to help him out on the roadside. But uh, how I would prepare is I would stop. If I had time after work, I would stop at, like, a skate shop or some shit like that and uh, snatch up a skateboard or with skateboards that I would just run across, I would fix them up where they were sick as fuck, they were tight as fuck, and they were up to date. I'm not talking about like Target or Walmart bullshit. This is like the real deal shit. But anyways, the way I'd prepare for a day in a questionable neighborhood where like people are like concerned about even wearing bulletproof vests sometimes, um, I would just roll around. I'd have skateboards in my truck, and if I passed a pack of what some people would say little thugs or little fucking, you know, just people literally would look at kids and think bad of them, you know, because they're making noise and they're doing all this shit. But anyways, uh, if people don't notice, I don't know in your community if it's like that, but in some areas and some counties and some states, they will fence off public land. They will close the public land to the people. You can't ride dirt bikes. You know, you'll see no skateboarding signs posted up, no skating signs, no whatever. Like, just all this control on what somebody could do and what they can't do. Chopped out all after-school programs fucking over 10 years ago, like 15, 20 years ago. I used to do all that fresh out of wherever. I used to volunteer my time to the youth after. Anyways, I would break off kids. At, like, if there was that group of kids and a couple of them had skateboards and a couple didn't, I would break them off some skateboards and just be like, here fucking but next week you better be able to ollie or else i'm gonna take that shit and then you just follow up you know what i mean if you can if you're back if not who cares it's never gonna change that that kid's gonna remember even if that kid got took for a skateboard later he's never gonna forget that you hooked him up it doesn't have to be a skateboard it could be fucking anything having to do with that environment you know what i mean so shit like that but that's what I would do in a video I seen yesterday reminded me of that shit with that little five-year-old kid that got fucking domed, got shot in his head by his neighbor. That's some fucked up shit. Somebody dropped a video on. And I had seen that video, the original video, like a while back, but just right when it said, what was I to do to stop this? I just turned it off because I didn't want to get pissed. And I should have watched the whole thing. But uh, anyways, uh, look at this fool's not going to let me over. I'll fucking get over. Anyways. Uh, this uh, so anyways that resident made a track and what I noticed with the first track outline I was thinking damn that would be every week that dude should make it tighter and tighter and more turns and that's what he did that shit was sick so I was glad I seen that shit but anyways now right now I just seen a video of the Portland mayor and his, uh, his response to his house getting vandalized. Think, of, read his response on whatever fucking source you want to read it on. I don't give a fuck. I'm just saying, if you really take that response and what he said, why he needs to move, and why it wasn't good for him to stay in that neighborhood and what he was apologizing for, he literally says that they shouldn't be in fear because of his position, right? 
think about that. He's trying to excuse himself and what he does for a living to his neighbors and thinking he said this shit out loud in public or commented it, whatever the fuck he did, typed it in, fucking piece of fucking shit. He is so disconnected from the people of his community that he thinks his job has nothing to do with them, right? The motherfuckers in Portland, the shit they're doing has to do with motherfuckers all over, everywhere in the United States. I've been to Portland several times. I'm nowhere close to Portland. Then God, and that too, God put me in a position I'm into where I could go fucking wherever I gotta go, bro. You know what I mean? Not all the time, but when I needed to. You know what I mean? When it just, it, fuck. There was certain shit that has happened where when I seen it, I felt like a piece of shit. You know? There's a time in my life where you had to get up and you had to back your own. It wasn't because of hatred. It was because you had to do it. And then what I seen, though, as I was doing it, I was like, you know what? This is right, though. For this setting right now, what we're involved in, we got to do this shit, you know? And it was because we were, like, fucking six. One of the dorms I was in, one of the, the holding facilities I was in, we were, like, six. Six white boys. One of them was all fucking just zipped up. Fucking bolts on his neck. Fucking hardcore white powerful, right? Been to prison a bunch of times. He knows exactly how to politic, right? So I walk in. After I already getting in a scuffle with this dude that happened to be at my wedding a little bit before this time of incarceration. And me and my boy rolled that fool up at the wedding because he was talking about his hateful shit. But anyways, he happened to be busted and he was the numbered... He was a numbered crew over there. That shit was fucked up. But anyways, so I roll into my shit and it's that... That one fool that obviously is a shot caller fool. Then there's two of the white dudes were like computer fraud nerd type guys that they weren't going to fucking go down for shit, you know? And it wasn't because, oh, I just assumed that because what they were because nerds are fucking nuts, bro. Once a nerd lets loose and realizes the amount of fucking energy and fucking devastation they can create, it is a rap they're some of the most devastating violent motherfuckers i've ever met but anyways so it was those two then there was another two and by six i mean me i'm the sixth one so there was the two that were in there for like some white collar crimes then two that were mixed and they, they were trying not to politic at the time one of them handed me a little piece though so that was fucking tight but i had already during the processing portion of this story I was already going through some shit with some of these dudes and they were they were the they're the fucking boss not worried they still are that's shit a lot of them are down as fuck you know and they they have to politic too and there's a certain way of life if you make choices in your life regardless if it's you're actually doing stuff that is not good or you surround yourself with the people that are not doing good uh you have to be prepared for those consequences and because of the way I tried to thread through where I was at during this point in my life, I seen a lot of the good out of a lot of these people that were just thrown to the side and people think are bad. But anyways, uh, so I get in there and I tell this fucking hardcore fucking convict ass fool that he's he's the man, right? He's he's the leader. And I tell him, hey bro, uh Shit's about to go down with these fools. You need to get up, get ready, because he was laying on the bed, and I think he was probably going through withdrawals or some shit. And he just, like, kind of looked at me. I was, this was, like, the probably four days after my 18th birthday. And then uh, this fool's, like, in his 30s, in shape like a motherfucker, like he was a soldier, you know what I mean? But because he was either detoxing or I don't know what the fuck he was going through, but that fool straight up told me no and rolled back over him kind of pulled his blanket halfway over his head and so it was like from me having my hands up like what the fuck like it tripped me out because everything I heard about hardcore ass motherfuckers just what I was like is that what the fuck like as soon as that shit hit my emotions and my soul that this fool wasn't gonna help me out and I was fucked I was gonna get a dick in my butt I was like oh shit but as soon as that emotion hit like fuck 
I snapped out of that, and that fool was carrying the shit out. He was out, and I was like, damn, I rolled that fool up. Like, I stomped him out, jerked him off his bed, stomped on his fucking head, beat the fuck out of that fool. And so I didn't realize what I had done in that moment, but it was not. I don't think the situation. <laughs> I don't think the situ- situation was any better. It, some people say it was a little better because I, I don't know. I guess I was exercising my abilities. I guess you could say. But anyways, there's a certain thing this that I seen happen in Portland that I was just like, oh hell no, and it wasn't because I've been going to Portland not a lot, but a little bit. Under the guise of other stuff that just out of the blue, as soon as all that bullshit started cracking in Portland, it just so happened to be I had to go out there for other reasons. So I was like, damn, if this is not like a, it started bothering me. And then all of a sudden, all the shit's coming in where I got to go to Portland. So I was like, this has got to be meant to be. And it's time to jerk that motherfucker up out of his bunk and fucking stomp him out. So I was like, fuck it. And even times I rolled up straight up, fitting in with that crowd. And I just get motherfuckers like real quietly when I get real loud and active I just like 10 15 20 fools would just be out you know what I mean and it was the easiest fucking thing in the world but that Portland mayor just released some bullshit saying about how his fucking job he apologizes. Some bullshit. Go look it up. I'm not going to fucking recite that because this shit is pissing me off. This motherfucking politician, this dude in a position of leadership, thinks that his job, he's apologizing for his job impacting when, them when it shouldn't. He said that. He said that. That's not nothing you could lie about. That's not nothing you could do. That was just an accidental slip where this motherfucker really thinks that his job doesn't impact his community. And it shouldn't. He thinks he can move away from that. So anybody that sees it differently or can straighten me out just because I'm a fucking retard and I don't have an education or I seem like my IQ is low or whatever. Leave a comment. Don't call me a fucking idiot. Just leave a comment telling me why I'm wrong. That's it. You know what I mean? That's stupid. You make yourself look dumb as fuck if you just leave a comment. Even if you don't like what I'm saying or you don't like me, fuck that. I don't care. I'll respect that shit if you come out. This dude came out and asked me why I'm all up in somebody else's business the other day. Like, he just straight to the point, boom, boom, boom. And he dropped it down and told me what's up. And he felt that I shouldn't be up in this dude's business. And he that I got nothing against that dude. That's tight as fuck that he would say it the way he said it. You know what I mean? So, I just don't understand. I wasn't even going to do anything today. I'm trying to fucking not do shit but that's just weird to me it's just evident it's 100% evident if people can't already understand that your leadership on any side does not fucking relate to you then comments like that could be dropped by the Portland mayor saying that he needs to move and he apologizes that it's his job is affecting the neighborhood that he lives in where the fuck is he going to move to and why does he think that his job doesn't, shouldn't impact? What the fuck kind of thinking is that? Somebody tell me, please, because that's fucking weird. And if nobody else sees that, that is fucking weird, bro. Like, I'm just going to, you know, I'm just going to fucking jack off all day and fucking fuck all day. Eat food all day and fucking, because if the majority of people do not understand that that is a huge fucking problem with why we're at where we're at right now they want to talk about divisive our leadership at all levels dude is so disconnected from the public it's fucking retarded and they look at us like something other than what they are those motherfuckers are supposed to represent us i don't give a fuck if you're black i don't give a fuck if you're white if you're asian if you just got here and you got no papers you're here you're part of this american way and all those people hating on immigrants, bro, that's just another motherfucking lie that is told to you by your politicians because they're so motherfucking corrupt that they need to keep continuously finding new ways to get fucking money or explain where money's going. 
I know a shit. I know fucking. I've been around millions and millions of fucking immigrants. Not, I don't know about millions and millions, but they've been around me my whole life. I ain't never been attacked by them. I ain't never got their dick up in my butt. They didn't rape me. Oh, fuck, when I was three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten years old, I was running around nothing but immigrants. Not one tried to put their dick in my hand. I had a white motherfucker that tried to do that shit. An American. You know what I mean? He ain't breathing. That motherfucker took like six to the chest in his life, and that's karma. You know what I mean? Fucking rape his ass motherfuckers. And then, come on, bro. Like, if... <laughs> Somebody tell me why the Portland mayor dropped that and that's not like breaking fucking news on Fox. They brought it up. They said it, you know, but I want to, I hope everybody makes videos on that shit. Everybody. I hope everybody makes a video that explains that that motherfucker really thought he could drop a public comment saying that his job shouldn't impact his neighborhood. Just think about that. When that motherfucker's job in Portland fucking affected me. It affected me. I was there after I seen some shit and I had to go let loose real quick. You know what I mean? It's not hard. Those motherfuckers get paid. I do that shit for free. Yo, broke as fuck, too. I borrowed money two of the times to go to Portland and had to pay that shit back because I ain't a millionaire or no shit like that. I got cool ass shit. I'm doing all right. You know what I mean? But to fight those kind of fights, I don't fuck most of the time I'm broke when those times come up and I gotta really put in work to try to get out to those places you know I ain't no need to put video proof cause I ain't gonna put video proof of me trying to cripple a motherfucker you know what I mean if I ever did do that never done that so yeah just fucking dude just look at that news break where look at the government's the government the mayor of Portland's response as to why he's moving and his apology to the neighborhood. That shit just fucking tripped me out. So I thought I'd throw the motherfucker in here, motherfucker in here. Right? So I'm gonna try to split it up and then drop some how-to videos, but I need to find something to work on to drop how-to videos. Or if there's something that's fucking with you and it's broken and you need to know how to fix that shit, most of the time I can fix anything. For some reason, I think it's probably got to do with the fact that I've worked since I was like 13 or 14. And uh, I've had almost any kind of job out there. Pretty much anything. Pretty much anything. So, not well educated scholastically. But I know a little bit about a little bit of things. Well, yeah, look at the mayor of Portland's response to when they went and fucked his house up and tell me if that doesn't like what the fuck how does his job not have to do with the people in his neighborhood what a fucking retard alright peace out build something do at least something positive every day once a day peace out